Hi guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be um, going through uh, fitting my Laurent's uh, fish finder transducer into my kayak. And up until now I have been using my transducer on the end of this little arm I made up which is just a GroPo mount um, attached to the uh, kayak. Um, and on the other end I'd put the transducer which worked really well I've used it all season um, there has been a few drawbacks I when I've been paddling the thing rocks backwards as you can see it rocks around and therefore gives me an incorrect reading so now it's winter and we have been forced ashore by all the storms um, I'm going to fit the transducer within the kayak itself now my kayak is a uh, Frontier, um, it's a two-man kayak but of course I use it solo, um, so it's got two hatches, the first one at the back I've already taken the uh, screws out of it, as you can see um, it gives a good access to the hull and in the front one oh. <laughs> I've already I've again taken screws out gives um, a nice little access to it also there's a nice bit of foam rubber there which gives this support so out of the two I'm going to use the front one so, first thing I'm going to do is make sure it's nice and dry because it has been sitting outside all night. Um, and of course it has been raining, so there has been a bit of rain in it. I've also got some compressed foam. Um, I actually scrounged this off our, my local kayak shop. Nice block of it. And I've cut a thing shaped so and that is going to go into the kayak and that will make a well for the silicon that I'm going to stick it down with. So what I'm going to do is just draw around to give me an idea where to put some double-sided tape. I've already put double-sided tape on this, as you can see it's quite tacky, but I'm going to double, put double-sided tape on the inside of the kayak. So as you can now see, I have put a double sided sticky tape in and around where uh, my bit of foam rubber is going to go. So what I'm going to do now is remove the other side of the sticky back plastic or sticky tap back tape and uh, stick the two together. So I've now got the well um, sides in there and the skimmer, my bullet skimmer is going to sit in the bottom like that um, and of course it's going to be filled up with silicon. Um, what I've also made is this little thing um, and that is going to jam in between the manif manifold here and the transducer just to hold it there nice and tightly um, because I do store this kayak outside on its side and of course I don't want it to move. Right, so um, that's where that's going to go. I have prepped the bottom of the kayak. Um, I've cleaned it, roughened it up with a bit of wet and dry. Um, so it's ready to take the sealant. The sealant I'll be using is this stuff. Um, it's the new replacement for the marine gloop. Um, and it's a clear silicon adhesive. Um, it doesn't actually go rock hard, never goes rock hard this stuff. So um, it's perfect for the kayak which may flex and what have you. So I'm going to load that into the gun, cut the nozzle and then go from there. Um, as you can see at the end of the um, nozzle is quite fine. So what I'm going to do is get a craft knife and just chop that down about so far. Because that will give me a lot wider spread 
of the silicon when I'm putting it in and of course one big tip is once you're putting the silicon into the mold one thing you do not want is air bubbles if you have air bubbles that will give you a false reading so the nice big uh, application nozzle will give you less chance of uh, having gaps there for air so as you can see I've now chopped a nice big nice end and I've got a nice application nozzle and that's the end I've chopped off as you can see I've chopped it in about half so as you can see I've best part filled the little thing up um, and you'll also see it's nice and clear with no air bubbles in it so what I'm going to do now is press the skimmer unit in my transducer unit easy holding camera as well so that's the back edge which is going to go right to the back edge and roughly in the middle of the kayak so I'm just squidging it in to there So now what I'm going to do is just fill in around it a bit with the gun. Just like that. And then I'm going to put my spacer on. I may need two hands for this, so um, I'll show you what it looks like after I've done it. GoPro. So as you can see, it's now well and truly splodged in. Um, now, of course, I've got to route this cabling. Um, my battery, I've made a little... Let's get that out of the way. I've made a little uh, four-deck, just out of a bit of laminate, and my battery sits on that. All nice and snug. Um, power cable. So I've got to make a hole, which is going to be roughly where these two old rivets are. Um, going down where I can pass, of course, the plug unit, which sits on the um, fish finder itself, on the head unit, and the power cable, it, so I can connect it to that. And then all the rest of the cable is going to be curled up nicely and uh, located within the kayak itself so all you will see is just a little bit there um, to route the cable I've got one of these little puppies um, it's a cable seal um, stand strut and that is going to be sitting about there so it will come up because my head unit my head unit sits like that so I'm literally just going to have a little bit of cabling up to the back of that and to the power so very little cable watching once I've done um, so let's uh, go and route the cable so As you can see, I've now drilled a hole, very roughly, because it has to be uh, 14 millimetres and I only had a 10 mil drill, so I drilled it, wiggled it about a bit, but that's made it plenty big enough for the transducer to fit through. Um, next thing is this little bit, which is ha half the strut, goes in there. Um, the grommet, now there's four different sorts of grommets you can get, there's a blanking one, one with a small cable, middle, medium sized cable and a large cable. I'll actually be using the middle, middle sized cable. That will be sitting on there and that will be screwed onto it on the top. So let's go ahead and attach that bit to there. So I've now attached that bit just to there. 
all this cable I've now curled up and I'm going to be pushing that temporarily just up to the front like that um, I will cable tie that when all this has gone off so the transducer is going to come up through that hole there so I've now got this cable up through here that cable is going to go to the battery box. Um, I just need to put my head unit on. <coughs> there we go. That's my uh, how I use my head unit. Just so put rest while I'm kayaking. But that fine. This bit goes in there. So I just need a bit of slack. Perfect. Yeah, you get pushed in a bit tighter when I'm using it, but that's as much as I need. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach these things. And there is a split in it, which goes around the cable. It's going to sit down nice and tight so let's screw that up and go from there so there we have it and the cables coming through that nicely um, and as you tighten it up it does seal itself up on it and then goes right through into the back of the unit and as i said a couple of times already uh, that will connect to the battery won't bother connecting that now because that's the main thing so all I've got to do now is uh, seal up the holes for the damp because I am working outside, doesn't get at it. Just tidy the kayak up and take it from there. Thanks for watching, I hope you found that useful. Um, any questions, doubts or theories, please give us a shout. Don't forget to thumbs up and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.